Hey guys, let's talk safety in oils. Okay, this is very important to um, use caution when using our um, Young Living Essential Oils. They are very, very, very potent, um, serious stuff, so you don't want to be loosey-goosey with them. So, first of all, what most people don't realize is every single bottle has the dilution instructions on them. Every oil is different, so check the label and um, to find out how diluted they need to be. And um, on babies, you want to super duper err on the side of caution and over dilute. And you, over, you know, um, carrier oil is what we use to dilute. Carrier oils are uh, coconut oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, jojoba, uh, sweet almond oil. Um, so any kind of cooking oils you have are good enough to dilute um, to use for carrier oil. Carrier oils help uh, in multiple ways. They help um, move the oil around. So for instance, if you wanted to support your digestive uh, tract and you had digies, and you put, what I do is I will um, squirt some carrier oil. This is my carrier oil. So I would squirt some carrier oil add a drop or two of digize and I would rub it around my belly. If I did that without the carrier oil, that oil, the essential oil, isn't, is going to evaporate faster than I'm going to be able to get it all the areas I need. So it helps carry the oil, one. Secondly, it helps seal the oil in our skin because it's essentially now sealed around and, um, and third, it can um, help with any kind of skin, sen uh, skin sensitivity to that oil if we happen to be sensitive to it. Um, so carrier oils are really important. Um, they don't um, minimize the effects of the um, essential oil, you know, um, and essential oils aren't, you know, if one is good, two is better, doesn't apply here. You're gonna be wasting your oils doing that. Um, work your way up, see where your tolerance is, what essential oils do is they're going to go into our system and they're going to flush out all the toxins and the toxicity. So when you go get a massage, they ask you to drink a lot of water the rest of the day because you may get a headache because they're flushing out all the toxins, right? The same thing can happen with essential oils. They're flushing out um, all the junk in our body and you may get a headache as a result. You may get um, a skin rash, maybe coming out through your pores. So if any of those things happen, call your enroller and let them know and they can help you out and give you some um, instructions on what to do next. Um, and, um, but, um, oh, secondly, if you happen to get oil in your eyes because they don't, they should never go inside your eyes or in your ears. Um, but if they get in your eyes, you never want to use water to wash it away because that's just going to, it's oil. It's, it's just going to drive it in deeper and it's just going to hurt more. So what you want to do is you want to get a carrier oil and use that and it'll flush it out right away. I've gotten, um, so when I've put peppermint on my kids' feet before, I forgot to wash my hands right away. So that's a really good tip. After you use um, any kind of spicy hot oils especially, um, you want to wash your hands because if you touch your eye, it may still be on there. And like I said, these are really potent and your eye will start to sting. So you, what you do is you get your carrier oil, squirt, rub it, it'll flush right out, wipe it away and you're good to go. Um, so that's it, that's basically the, um, there's Young Living's website has a great section on safety and oils. So I recommend that you go to the, your Lung, Young Living website and um, read the, um, all the safety guidelines. It's very important to educate yourself on these oils and how to use them because they are awesome, but they are strong and potent. Um, so that's it. Thanks.